Okay, we have here today another integral from the MIT Integration B 2022, regular season number two. We have the integral of natural log of one plus x over x squared dx. Okay, at first I was wondering if we could somehow make use of the quotient rule just because we've got something squared in the denominator, but we only have one thing in the numerator, so I don't think that works that well here or else or I couldn't really see an easy way to do it that way. So what I wanna do is integration by parts just because that's usually gonna work well to differentiate natural log one plus x. So in order to do this, let's set up our DI table for tabular integration over here to the right. We'll differentiate the whole numerator, natural log one plus x, and then we'll integrate this. Think of it like a one there. So what we're integrating is gonna be one over x squared. And then we're gonna want alternating signs over here. So the first one's gonna be positive. The next one's gonna be negative on this. Let's differentiate ln one plus x, that's just gonna be one over one plus x. No chain rule because the derivative of this is just gonna be one. Here derivative, or sorry, here the integral of one over x squared is gonna be just minus one over x. So we have part of the solution here on the diagonal. Let's copy that down. We'll write that as minus ln one plus x over x. And then all this stuff here we can multiply together, create that as an integral. When we do that, we're gonna have Minus times minus is plus. We'll have a plus sign in front of our integral here, and then we'll just write it like one plus x times x with dx in the numerator. Now here what we could do is partial fractions, but let's just kind of do this. Let's kind of clean it up on the fly. We don't really have to do out the partial fractions here. You can if you like, but I kind of like to skip it if I can. So think of it, our whole numerator is just one. Well, if I add an x, then I've created something that we can use for cancellation. I don't wanna change it, so let's subtract off an x. And then let's kind of group this like this, use the minus sign to create this as two integrals. So first, let's copy this stuff down. We'll do the first integral with the one plus x in the numerator over all the same stuff. And for the second one, I'll bring the minus sign out front. Now we're gonna have just an x in the numerator over all the same stuff. I'll get rid of this because I don't think we need this anymore. We've already done our IBP. We've already done our integration by parts. Don't forget a dx right here. But now at this point, we're gonna get all kinds of cancellation because this is gonna cancel with this, this is gonna cancel with this, and now we're left here with just two easy integrals, just one in the numerator. So copy stuff down again. This integral here is just one over x, so that's gonna be integrating that, we'll have natural log absolute value of x here. Then this one we're gonna have minus natural log absolute value one plus x. Now I think if I'm not mistaken, I can drop absolute value here because look at our original problem. In order for this to work in the original problem, this has to be greater than zero. So we drop absolute value here. And now just a little cleanup, we've got this term and this term in common here. Let's bring the ln square root at, we'll bring this ln in front and we'll combine these two terms. So when I do this, if I factor out minus natural log one plus x, then doing that, this stuff is gonna become just one over x plus one. But for this right here, let's get a common denominator. For one, I can write this as x over x. But now let's just put these together. We end up with x plus one over x, and then just add a plus c on the end, and that's it. Okay, there you have it. Good one from MIT 2022. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.